Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Ilaria and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can measure the effectiveness of your campaign using geo experiments. In this episode we are gonna show you what is a geo experiment, how it works, how you can run a geo experiment on your own and the possible tools you can use. Then we are going to have a look at the different methods using a geo experiment and what you need as variables to run a geo lift. So, first of all, what is a geo experiment? A geo experiment is an experimental method used to run incrementality testing. Incrementality testing help us measure the incremental impact of our marketing campaign even if we are running offline campaigns. How we can do that? We measure the difference between the test group that is seeing our ads and the control group that doesn't see our ads. In particular, with your experiments, we split our nation, our continent, in two different groups. The test group that is watching our ads both online or offline and the control group that are the region, the countries or the cities that are not seeing our ads. The increase or decrease number in sales or conversion in our test group is the lift of our geo experiments. To run a geo experiment, we need three things. The budget, that is to say, how much we can spend to run this experiment. The two groups, the test group and the control group, and the timing, that is to say, what is the pre-treatment period, what is the behavior of the test and control group before our experiment, the treatment period, that is to say the period when our experiment is live, and the post-treatment period, the period after our experiment that has the same dura duration of our treatment period. To run a geo experiment, we can use three different tools, three different libraries created by Google or Meta. Market Matching and GeoX are created by Google and GeoLift, the official library we are using just right now, is launched and created by Meta. These three tools are using three different methodologies. Difference in difference, matched market test and synthetic control method. The first two are used by Google and synthetic control method is the main method used in all GeoLift by Meta. To run a gel lift using the official library by Meta, we need a dataset composed of six months daily data or one year weekly data, like the one you can see down here. Break down by geos like cities or zip codes or countries, and we need to have at least 20 geos and the y that is to say our variable the conversion on the number of revenue now in just few seconds we are gonna run a gel lift using our studio that is the software we need to use to run a gel lift so now we are in RStudio and for 
for these first steps, we are gonna use the pre-uploaded GeoLift dataset already done by Meta if we install the library. The first three rows we are gonna run are install packages to install GeoLift and synthetic control method and the incubator gel lift. So we are gonna run the first three rows. That I have already uploaded and then we upload the library we have just installed that is library gel lift. Now if we run head gel lift pretest, we can see our dataset composed by location, our geo, the y that is the number of conversion, and date. Now we need to say to this model, this is our dataset. How we can do that? we use geodataread. In the geodataread function, we are going to upload our dataset. We are going to say the date ID is our column date. Location ID is our column location. And Y ID is the column Y. With X, we can upload even other covariates. The, num the format of our date is year, month, and date. And we want a summary to see if our dataset is uploaded correctly. Be careful that in your dataset, each geo has the same number of dates. So we are going to run geodata read and we can see down here that we have 40 locations uploaded correctly. Now we want to see if there is any pattern between our geos to create a test and control group with the same pattern. We are going to run geoplot and in the plot we can see that Auckland and Philadelphia has the same pattern. In synthetic control method it can help us to define if two locations can be in the same group or if their behavior is too different to be in the same group. Now we need to know which location need to be in the control group or which in the test group. We can do that using GeoLift market selection. In GeoLift market selection, we can say how long that can be our treatment period the effect size we want, in this case we want an effect size minus 25% or 525%. We want to include Chicago in our test group and exclude Honolulu. The maximum cost per incremental conversion needs to be 7.50. And for this experiment, we want a budget at maximum of $10,000. And with Alpha, we are going to say this experiment need to be statistically significant. So we are going to run market selection. And we, we are going to see that 
the model is creating our test and control group in the next few seconds. So, our model has suggested us to create a test group with Atalanta, Chicago, Cleveland, Las Vegas, and Reno in the test group. Our treatment period needs to be 10 days long and it will be with an effect size minus 5%. It will be statistically significant and for these experiments, we need to invest $69,000. If we want to see with a plot this first test group, we are going to use uh, the plot function where we can say plot market selection using the first test group you have suggested us. So we are going to run this code. And you can see that if we run uh, the experiment with this test group, this is the effect size we are going to have. In the next episode, we are going to analyze the results of a gel lift after 15 days.